Hello survivors and welcome to another video. In today's video we are going to be playing on the Chaos Walker. We haven't done a video on him in a very long time and we actually have a idea for a build that we've actually kept away from. We kind of done a lot of poison and dock builds uh, so we didn't really show this one too much but uh, one of my favorite skills is actually the uh, shot skills, infected shot as well as the arcane missile and fiery missile. They all work the exact same way and we got that along with corrosion. So today we're going to be playing a focus on poison but it is going to be more dot so we are going to be playing infected shot, corrosion, flamethrower for the burn, a uh, very uh, low cooldown burning which will then turn to poison, firebolt for the weakness and then we're going to do disoriented and doom and then aptitude as well for the crit damage. We don't have any form unfortunately so we will try and look for getting some crit chance at least to 100% so all that uh, crit can be turned into crit damage as well. So those are the skills, it's two doom, two fire, two uh, uh, poison so we will get doom to fire, doom to poison, doom to uh, whatever the case may be and then we're using the second weapon we did level it up to plus nine giving us 75 a crit damage modifier uh, 13 damage 37 cast frequency and 13 area of effect so let's see how this goes i do want to play on the frozen wastelands because i need to get some more silver and we are running uh you know just some simple ruins to go with it, we're actually running Material Harvest, Efficient Extractor, and Weapon Expert. And for our main runes, it's Multicast Mastery, Synergetic, Elemental Flow, and Extended Magazine. The Extended Magazine does come in quite clutch over here because when we've got Infected Shot with a lot more cast frequency, uh, I mean it's already sitting at 0.4 seconds, it means we are going to get a really good chance of getting a lot of um, multicast chance from the Ruin. So you know that's why we grabbed it and then multicast is going to work really really well with this build. It doesn't matter which skill multicast, it's going to deal a lot. So that's the general idea behind it. But let's see if we can get all the skills we need. Uh, it could be quite difficult. We don't have a lot of rerolls. We've only got 10 of them. No reroll mastery, no endless refill. And we're going to see just what this does. And then once we've got all the skills, if we don't get them right away, we'll go into Overlord to see just how well this can perform. Because we want to, we want to know, you know. All right, so Vicious Strikes, that's actually beautiful for us in the beginning. Uh, as a very first upgrade, it's not a waste. I mean, look at the other two skills. Uh, this is actually one of the best ones just for that case. And then we have to now hope and pray. So there's Shadow Bolt, that's perfect. We actually get Poison to Doom as well, which we don't need. We want to focus on the uh, Doom, I mean the Poison aspect of it. Uh, so getting things like all of your attacks Poison is much better. And then we need to find these other skills. Hopefully we can. But this could be quite difficult. There's Shadow Orb. That's beautiful. Uh, I would like the Doom 2 Nature instead. But that's okay. We'll get crit charts on our Doom skills over there. Fantastic. All right, we already got our first boss fight up and running. Turn on the manual aim because we are using Shadow Orb. Let's take a little bit of a hit there because we couldn't get out of the way. It's not really too much of an issue. We don't have the area of effect I would like. Uh, this did go a lot faster than we probably uh, should have run it, but I mean, it is what it is. We can't really stop ourselves from being that fast. But maybe grab a Bloodlust in the meantime, but uh, no. Come on, game. There's Flamethrower. Thank you. The crit. There we go. We get some multicast over there. And then we might have to just take something else in the meantime, because Firebolt doesn't look like it's showing up for us. So that's unfortunate. We'll just grab Mart uh, in the meantime grab ourselves more damage modifier and we are now just looking for our final skill which is going to be the uh, fire bolt which is over there so that's perfect one of the bosses already died that's because we were able to stay close enough to them so that the poison did actually do something but now that we've got all of our skills you can see the major difference it makes 
once everything's up and running, the amount of poison stacks we get are much better now because we do have all hits have a chance to apply poison and because we have flamethrower which applies damage every 0 0.25 seconds uh, we are in a very good spot now so that's going to help us kill the monkey king over there one of the most one of the uh, annoying void hunters because his attack goes back to him even when he is dead and now again just focusing so this one is the one we're looking for the crit chance on these so that's great we do want the poison enemies as well and we would have liked the crit chance there but uh, i was a bit silly so critical strikes now apply poison that means on every healthy enemy we will apply poison as well and then we get fire to nature skill chance beautiful cast frequency all attacks now apply disarray that is beautiful as well and we can grab some defenses over here we don't have to worry about uh things like his alt of chaos we don't have to worry about uh, things like the, the more burning over here or anything like that. Even Leviathan, we're not going to worry about that. We don't need it. And we're just going to keep going. So we've got a little bit of cast frequency and you can already see we're on a 0 0.3 seconds on the infected shot. I mean, having that 0.1 second, even though it sounds like it's irrelevant, is actually a really big difference. If we get it down to, uh, you know, 0.2 that means it's already 100% more damage because we, we lost the uh, time from 0 0.4 to 0 0.2. All right, so he's dead already. We can hide behind the wall over here to stop all of their attacks, you know, so we don't have to worry about the laser beam, which is really cool. Imagine if his laser beam kind of just uh, didn't uh, stop on terrain. That would have been really hectic, but it doesn't. All right, so we actually got some area of effect over there, which is great. We don't need area of effect for shadow because it doesn't really affect shadow orb and shadow bolt. So we're not worried about that. We can grab both of these, so expansive, and we want those cost frequencies as well. And a more damage for poison going over there. And more cost frequency on fire bolt means more weakness applied to the enemies. Which means that our poison is going to deal more damage and so is the... I mean, the fact uh, we were going to take it. Oh, we did take Elemental Flow. I was going to say we were going to take it uh, just to increase the amount of poison damage that's applied along with weakness. The two of them don't work um, the same. They're actually independent. So you do want both of them. If you, I mean, if you do want to use both of them, you can. It's not like they cancel each other out or do the same thing. It works the same as uh, like rotting and all of those passives that apply to poison or like you get the passives that make it so your poison deals more damage quicker or whatever the case may be they work independently from elemental flow it isn't the same uh, calculation so even if you have elemental flow it's still going to apply that along with the other passive as well so you know don't think oh no we don't need elemental flow because we get this if you're using both of them it will actually be a lot stronger if i can find the passive while we're playing so here we go it's one of these uh, portion of the total damage is caused instantly that one's perfect but it doesn't work the same way as that um it doesn't work with this so uh, all of your damaging effects deal with damage 50 percent more often uh, they don't actually cause each other to deal more damage because this is instant damage uh, but we'll see if I can find the other one I was talking about. I don't know, maybe it was that that I was talking about, but there was a discussion about it a very long time ago where it came to last that uh, they don't, you know, they're independent. The one doesn't affect the other sort of story, so you do need both of them. I think it was for rotting. I think it was for that. Does it affect the rotting's damage to be, you know, deal more damage? It was such a long time ago, I can't actually remember the exact uh, information that was brought about. I'd have to go back and double check on everything. Maybe I'll just leave it in the description or in the comment section as a post. And then you guys can comment on that or let me know what you think about it and what you think should happen there. But as you can see, we're already on the spot wave boss over here. 1,243 silver. I think I actually needed more than that and the only reason I needed silver was to get uh, this weapon over to plus 10 instead of plus 9 because that's what it's sitting on right now is plus 9. We did lose a life there. I thought the chaos bombs would have ended already but they never. They kind of carried on that one uh, bounce more 
which caused us to die. So that's a bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. We can't really do much more about that. All right, more poison, more rotting, and more damage for poison, along with another poison. Oh, do we need damage for this? No, because the damage comes from corrosion. Unfortunately, we haven't really seen much corrosion coming out, you know, in terms of damage, but at least we do see a lot of the uh, different empowering skills so we get those giving us the extra damage and multicast and uh, other stats like that so we're in a good space because of that also we nearly just well we did lose our life over there something did a lot of damage there so now we actually have to be careful We could make this even worse and just go full chaos using our ascension but there's no need for the ascension on the chaos walker it doesn't i mean it does help it does provide us with quite a lot of things but it's just it's really not necessary not for what we're playing with grab that movement speed because i think our movement is the reason we're not you know the reason we're actually dying but you can see just how much damage we're doing to the bosses oh so good they die so quickly so that was fantastic six minutes 33 seconds not bad at all and i think we got quite a bit of a you know a chance to do a lot more damage over here so this could definitely maybe or definitely get you to overlord six and then anything further and there's going to be a lot of dodging so you would need a lot of dodge or you can go and build up your health and block chance to get you a little bit further but otherwise a really fun build a really strong damage but how far it gets you you'll have to try and find out yourselves but let's go and see the damage of course corrosion should be the most hopefully there we go fantastic flamethrower dealing a decent amount of damage over there so yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video please remember to like comment and subscribe for more videos like this in the future and always remember keep safe survivors until next time cheers